Have you ever heard that you learn best if you're taught in a way that fits your learning style? Today's classrooms are often built around using teaching methods that cater to students' learning styles. Your learning style identifies the way that you most effectively absorb information from your environment. By answering a few questions on a quiz, you can instantly identify what way you learn best. But will this help you? Evidence suggests that identifying your learning style may do more harm than good. According to Neil Fleming's VAK model, there are three main types of learners, visual, auditory, and kinesthetic learners. Each type describes the way in which you best learn information. If you're a visual learner, you prefer to receive information visually. You might look for diagrams, maps, pictures, and videos to learn a new concept. If you're an auditory learner, you prefer to listen to information. You might like to attend lectures, listen to discussions, and read aloud. And if you're a kinesthetic learner, you prefer to learn by doing. You might like to create projects or presentations or play games to learn new concepts. If there is any truth to the idea that learning styles and teaching styles go together, then learners with a certain style should learn best with instruction tailored to that style. But does scientific research really support the existence of these different learning styles? Are you really just confined to one learning style? Here is why the answer is no. In a recent study, researchers worked with a group of university students. First, they identified each student's preferred learning style. Then, each student was presented information through all three styles and later tested on their memory of that information. According to learning styles theory, you would expect that students would have the best memory for information that they learned through their preferred learning style. A visual learner would perform best on the test of visual memory, an auditory learner on that of auditory memory, and a kinesthetic learner on test of kinesthetic memory. However, this was not the case. The researchers found that learning through a preferred style did not aid in memory any better than learning in another style. This experiment shows that when learning styles are put to the test under controlled conditions, there is no difference in performance. Students perform equally well regardless of whether or not they learn in their preferred style. So working in your preferred learning style won't necessarily lead to better results. In another study, participants actually performed more poorly on assessments when they learned through their preferred learning style. An unrealistic perception of ease while learning through a preferred style may lead you to put less mental effort into learning. So, our preferred learning style may simply be what we think is easier, not how we learn better. So, why do most people support the existence of learning styles and even encourage their use in schools? We have fallen into the trap of believing a compelling myth. The idea may sound intuitively pleasing, but there is no scientific basis for the existence of learning styles. This is just like the false claims that we only use 10% of our brains, or that certain people are left-brained or right-brained. We do not have learning styles, we use our entire brains, and there is no such thing as being either left-brained or right-brained. Dr. Joseph Kim is a faculty member in the Department of Psychology, Neuroscience and Behavior at McMaster University in Hamilton, Ontario. He's the Principal Investigator of the Applied Cognition and Education Lab and the Coordinator of the Introductory Psychology course at McMaster. Here's what he has to say about learning styles. The idea is that if you can match an individual person's uh, particular learning style preference with a particular teaching method, you can increase performance presumably leading to better grades. And I think this is a great intuitive idea. It feels good. Uh, it means that you know potentially everyone could get good grades. The challenge is that there isn't any scientific evidence that backs this up. So even though this is a great intuitive idea that is widely spread, uh, and it's, it's actually just held and assumed to be a fact, uh, there isn't solid evidence that actually backs that up. So these types of myths that uh, uh, persist in education really, um, you know, are a cry for, uh, you know, strong uh, evidence-based practices in doing real research into education. Learning styles may seem like an appropriate way to identify the best method of retaining information. 
However, thus far, there has been no scientific evidence to say that matching teaching methods to specific learning styles has any positive effect on performance. Learning is not just black and white. We fall on a spectrum that encompasses various methods of obtaining, retaining, and explaining knowledge. For more pedagogy-related modules, be sure to like and comment on the video and subscribe to this channel. Also, check us out on Facebook and Twitter.